168, Sabrina Scavoni. Sabrina's journey started January 2019. I started my transformation January 1st of 2019. This is my second year, so this year the show is really about um, besting myself, you know, compared to last year. Last year I really struggled emotionally because this is very outside my comfort zone. Um, you know, being in the spotlight, having everybody stare at you, full face makeup, jewelry, being a girl. I'm not girly, I kickbox, like, I punch things, you know. So this is not, I grew up on a farm, this is not my, not my specialty. Um, so last year it was very emotional, but this year it was just all how how good can I be? Like, what is the best version of me for 2019? And so that was really my focus, is just besting my own from last year. So <laughs> so I did the 10-week nutrition challenge with CKO years ago, um, became an instructor, became an owner, um, and now I own my own facility in Warwick, New York with my partner. And um, so... My training really has just been nothing but kickboxing for years. When I first found fitness, I was running on the beach in South Jersey, but um, I moved back up north and had to find something else, and kickboxing just didn't compete or compare with anything else. Like it was, once I found it, I was like, this is it. This is what I want to do with my life. Being, living and being with a foodie was probably my biggest challenge. Um, we love food. We have a summer business. We, you know, do grass-fed, locally sourced, you know, hot dogs and hamburgers and, you know, right on the lake in Greenwood Lake up in Warwick, New York. And um, so, like, food is everything. Food is life. I'm Sicilian. Food is everything in life. So, um, when you have a partner who is, it takes nothing to, to you know, take 20 pounds off. He's I mean, he runs, he does kickboxing, he's like the whole thing, brutal. Um, but he can eat whatever he wants, and he burns it off that day playing basketball. So it's hard to be around things that are your favorite and just being like, you know what, it's, it's not going to get me to my goal in the next 12 weeks, so I'm just going to push the plate aside. And that, that's a struggle for sure, um, versus last year, which was all the money. I would say just commit to it. Commit to it, find a coach that is going to support you, is going to care for you, is going to be just as involved in your goals as you are, if not more. The one that's going to nag you when you're not doing what you need to do. The one that's going to parade you around and give you accolades and tell you how amazing you are and how strong you are and how beautiful you are because it doesn't matter at the end of the day the outside, the inside will show through.